uh, to come. Alex, how's it looking? It absolutely is, uh, Justin. On the warm side, up to and including, well, the first part of the weekend at least. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon to you. A lovely scene here earlier on today in Plymouth, captured by one of our weather watchers. But not all of us have been enjoying glorious conditions so far this Tuesday. The coastal mist here, captured well by one of our weather watchers earlier on in Lynmouth. If we take a look at the big picture then over the next few days, for tomorrow we've got this weather front just coming up from the south. That may just threaten a few showers, clipping more southern parts of our region, but for most it should be dry. And then high pressure influences our weather, so that will settle things down. It will become quite breezy over the next few days, but with more in the way of widespread sunshine. And for the rest of this afternoon, most places should be dry. There is just the threat of one or two isolated showers, but I think many of us should escape. But some sunny spells, variable amounts of cloud, with the risk of some coastal mist around some of our coastlines. Top temperatures still warm and humid, up to 24 degrees Celsius, with mainly light winds. Into this evening and overnight, staying mostly dry, with some clear spells of the further west you are. Further east, more in the way of cloud. It may turn quite misty and murky, with some low cloud developing in some spots, but a very mild and muggy night ahead of us with lows of just 15 or 16 Celsius. So a mild grey start to the day tomorrow. The risk of a few showers, especially for more southern parts, the Isles of Scilly and the Channel Islands, but most places dry, increasing amounts of sunshine into the afternoon and still feeling very warm. Take care.